her borte så ligger det en leir med internt fordrevne. Der bor det nå 28.000 mennesker. Rett ved siden av så er det en leir som ble opprettet for tre år siden for syriske flyktninger, og der bor det 60.000 mennesker. Dette lille området her har fordoblet innbyggerantallet i løpet av tre år. Vi er i nordern Irak, en av de områdene som er hevlig effektet av den syriske krigen. Den største refugiekrisen siden den andre verdenskrigen. Irak currently has the fastest growing number of IDPs uh, in any conflict in the world. There are about 8 million people now who are in need of humanitarian assistance. Um, and we expect those numbers to increase to 10 million by the end of the year. So it is a massive disaster. The reason why the situation in Iraq quickly deteriorated is the rise of ISIS. They started to come through Sinjar, toward the Sinjar mountain. I told my family, hurry up, we, we have to, to leave. I saw a three years old kid being beheaded and his crime was that his father was a police officer. They put explosives in, in his body. The father didn't know and when he went to try to carry his, his son, he's just bombed. There's little doubt that the IDP population is very much traumatized. Uh, we see that the local capacity to deal with trauma healing professionally is almost non-existent. Uh, there are very few psychologists or psychiatrists in this region. Uh, and the humanitarian actors are also not uh, able to provide those services right now. <laughs> I'm Kahrabat Kirin. I'm Dana Baravi. I'm Kahrabat Kirin. Davi Malaspat Kirin. Da Zaro Sa Kajina Manakin. Ida Adlain, Adlain, Ma Adlain. You move in Ahsan Manhad Al Hal. As the Mahama and Pishti the Maha, Yaki or Rakihat as the Rani, it got in Abu Jamil Jami. As Furun Maiki Saudi. The good thing, if there is a, a sign of hope in this, is that the women who are returning from captivity from the IS, they are actually very vocal, the local communities, they are vocal saying that we are welcoming the women back, there is no shame in this, um, they are martyrs. I even met a religious leader yesterday who said very clearly that if there is a man who refuses to marry a woman because she has been raped, then I will marry her myself. I mean, we, we have to sort of welcome these women back and take them seriously and help them to rebuild their lives. We are currently quite close to Mosul and we can hear the shelling from the, Mo from the Mosul side and the, and the fighting going on there. Uh, and we expect, of course, at some point that the forces will try to reclaim Mosul from IS um, and that will create, we fear, a massive humanitarian situation. We expect up to maybe between one and one and a half million IDPs to try to leave Mosul and come into the Kurdish areas.
It is highly likely that the Kurdish government will not allow the IDPs to enter into Kurdistan, which means that uh, these IDPs will be caught in a no man's land. Um, they will have to, to seek refuge in areas where there are no basic services, no water, nothing. This can create a a big trauma and big, big humanitarian situation because uh, 1.2 million people in a humanitarian no man's land is going to be challenging.